I'll call this meeting of the Fremont County Board of Commissioners to order. If you all please rise and join us with the invocation from, uh, by Tom Kilgore from the Connect Church, followed by the pledge. Good morning. Good morning. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for the year that we've enjoyed, for all the prosperity. Father, for the improvements that have been made into this county. We thank you, God. We also thank you, God, that through all of our struggles and the issues that we've all faced, uh, you've given us the wisdom and the direction uh, to face them in a good and orderly way. I ask you, God, to be with our commissioners now as they continue to serve our county and make uh, the decisions that require wisdom. Uh, thank you, God, for them. I, I pray a special prayer for each of them. We thank you for their service to this county. And on this season and on this day, when we think about how light has invaded our darkness, we thank you, God, that there is hope and there is peace and there is a way out of the issues and the dark times that some face in this county. So, Father, I pray for another year of prosperity. I pray that more and more people in our county move from poverty into enjoying prosperity in their own lives through jobs, through being able to eat, through medical care. God bless those unfortunate members of our county, and may we as the leadership help to pave a better way from there for them to enjoy their lives. God, thank you. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this season. And we look forward expectantly to another great year. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tom. Roll call, please. Commissioner McCall. Present. Commissioner Bell. Present. Commissioner Payne. Present. County Attorney Jackson. Present. County Manager Bryant. Present. Planning and Zoning Director Garrett. Present. Right. Approval of the agenda. Mr. Chair, I am not aware of any changes that we need to make to today's agenda, so I move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve the agenda. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner McCall. Aye. Motion carries. Right on to the consent agenda. Uh, we'd like to note that we are scheduling a few public hearings here. On January 14th, we're scheduling a public hearing for a modification of premise for OPC 14-001 Pure Medical LLC and for the Home Preservation and Buyout Program from the Upper uh, Arkansas Area Council of Governments. And then on January 28th, uh, another public hearing at 10 o'clock, uh, scheduling one for the amendment to the Fremont County Zoning Regulations, resolutions. So <laughs> we'll get them words out there in a minute. Do you need to start over? <laughs> so, hey, anyway, scheduling public hearings. <laughs> With that, Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the consent agenda. Second. <clears throat> it has been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. I got the I part out there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to administrative and informational uh, staff and elected. First, we'll start with the county manager report, Ms. Honey Bryant. Good morning. Good morning. So just a couple of quick notes. Last week, we had our Grandview Avenue Bridge Design Kickoff meeting. And so we're in the process of working through the design of that bridge. It's actually scheduled about a year long to complete that process. There's actually quite a bit of detail that's involved and it's a, a very highly um, sophisticated process. Um, so we're, it's going to take about 12 months. So we kicked that off last week and then we finalized the 2020 budget. And so that will be posted on the county website um, sometime next week. And so if you have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to us and we can get those answered. <coughs> That's all I have for okay. the manager side. Move on to the sales and use tax report then. All right, so let me get this. Okay, so the retail sales tax collections in the month of October they came in at $501,958, which is up $106,204 from last year. Year to date, we are up $694,830. Um, and in comparison to budget, we're up about 685,000. The auto use tax collections for the month of November came in at $92,204, which is up $8,123 from last year. Year to date, we're down slightly at $51,065, 
Um, however, in comparison to budget, we are up 38,604. We knew last year was kind of one of those especially high years, and so we decided to not budget accordingly. And as that came in, we're actually um, still over budget, but not seeing the numbers we did last year. The Fremont County construction use tax collections through November came in at $9,946, which is down $8,744 from November of last year. Year to date, we are still up $84,460. Um, in comparison to budget, we are up $141,190. And then the lodging tax collections in October came in at $1,242 which is up 907 from last year. Year to date, we're up 2,134. And then the sheriff retail sales tax collections in the month of October came in at $334,639, which is up 70,803. And year to date, we're up 463,220. And the sheriff auto use tax collections came in at 61,470 which is up 5,415 from last year. And year to date, we're down slightly with that as well, but in comparison to budget, we're up 29,097. And then lastly, construction use tax collections for the Sheriff's Department came in at $6,631. Year to date, we're up 56,402. So overall, we are still doing very well. Um, we'll work over the next few months to close out the year. Um, but we budgeted conservatively for next year as well um, as all of this comes through. So. Well, that's awesome. That's, that's a good report. Thank you. I don't think we can complain about those numbers. Not when, when the words we are up. Yeah. There? So, that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Any, anyone else? I was just going to tag on to what um, Sonny said about our special meeting last week. We had a special meeting. Um, required by law we set all of the property taxes for Fremont County for the year we certified um, mill levies also for the year and we did adopt our budget and um, we do have a proposed budget online I think the finalized budget will look very much the same but that proposed budget already is online so anyone who wants to go out and take a look at that um, you're more than welcome to and I just wanted to say um, obviously today is Christmas Eve many many people will be celebrating Christmas tomorrow um, that means a lot of folks are going to be doing a lot of traveling. We want you all to stay safe out there. And I just would like to say Merry Christmas if that's how you celebrate. If you choose to celebrate in another way, happy holidays, whatever that might look like for you. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Plain and simple there. I, I just kind of want to echo that. Uh, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, Sarah Wade, and happy new year. Looking forward to the new year and, and continued work. So appreciate everybody being here on this Christmas Eve. All right, anyone else? Okay, we'll move on to citizens who wish to address commissioners. Uh, stuff not on the agenda, and we have one Mike Patterson, Florence, city manager. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. He's got a smile on his face. Well, this will be pretty brief. Um, as you will recall, last year, uh, the county commissioners and the county decided to partner with the city of Florence on the Dry Creek Dam project. It's a flood control dam. Uh, we, the total cost of the project ended up being uh, about 353,000 with uh, grants and whatnot that we received. You contributed, um, I believe it was 50, no, 25,000. And we theoretically put in 25,000. In the end, each of us only had to spend um, out seven thousand dollars wow. so I have a check that I'm bringing back to you along with the the uh, brief report on it so that uh, I've got a check for eighteen thousand eighty two dollars and fifty five cents I'm pretty sure Sonny budgeted for that but, <laughs> um, so, so I've got that for you and uh, any questions no that was match money for the grant is what that that's was right yeah for, we yeah. got we had a NRCS reimbursement that reimbursed um, most of the most of the project so Really, uh, and it was a it was a good project. We went over there and looked at the, the dam. At what I know about dams, <laughs> it looked like a good. They did a good work on it. It's going to keep the um, floodwaters from taking out a third of Florence. Is yeah, what it's it, do. It, it ended up being a three hundred seventeen thousand dollar project. NRCS paid three hundred three thousand. So wow. basically, each of us kicked in about seven thousand awesome. dollars. So it was. We really appreciate your support. 
uh, Florence very much appreciates that. Um, we, 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 we try to make sure that uh, we're not short of funds, so we, we appreciate you helping us, and it turned out great for us. It was a, it was a good project, like uh, Commissioner McFall said. He and I drove by it a couple months ago, and, and it, it looks really good. Yeah, yeah they did a fantastic, yeah, fantastic job. fantastic job. And, and it, it really did make that part of, of the community safer. And obviously last year we also saw some things that can happen when those flash floods happen. I, I saw that yesterday when I was v visiting out of the area. <laughs> and uh, uh, bad things can happen when, when <coughs> flash floods come. But um, uh, we really appreciate your help on this project. Thank you, so, thank you, Mike. Yeah, give and, this and check I, to Sonny? Yes, please. <laughs> and I would just say thank you not only for the refund, but also for showing up this morning and giving us a brief report because so many times we, we write checks for matching funds or to help with projects, whatever it is, and we never hear another word about that project um, unless we make inquiries. So I just want to say thanks for being here this morning. Well, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> thanks, Mike. Thank you all. All right, if there's any other citizens who wish to address the commissioners, now would be the time. Okay, seeing none, we'll move forward. We have no old business to consider today, so we'll move on to new business. The first item is a resolution recognizing Ralph Frank Janicek of Foreign Wars Post 2788, Penrose, for the 50th anniversary, and I think we have some folks here from that post. Yes, we do, sir. All right, come on up, sir. So first I would say we're not recognizing Mr. Janicek of VFW 2788, that is the name, the name of. of the post. So the word yeah. of should actually yeah. not be in our agenda. I apologize for that. That's no problem. That's Good no morning. Problem. Commissioner Payne, Commissioner McFall, Commissioner Bell, <coughs> we appreciate it very much for having us here for this day. And Ralph F. Janicek was the founder of the post 2788 in Penrose, Colorado. Uh, on January 4th, 2020, it's on a Saturday morning, we are having a celebration for our 50th year as a charter as a Veterans of Foreign War host for our veterans within this county. And for what you're proclaiming today, we very much appreciate that very much. And we thank you. And for the help that you've done for all the veterans in this county, we have a lot more that has come into here and everything, and we do appreciate it very much. And like I said, we thank you very much. With not words, too many words to say in a short time, but we thank you. I think we um, need to thank you guys, first of all, for your service and what you guys do for the uh, veterans in the area as well as the community in itself. And we do have a proclamation. We do have a proclamation. And I think I will ask Commissioner Bell to read that for and us. And she'll be happy to do so. <laughs> all right. Thank you for being here. And, and I also would just tag on to what uh, our chairman just said. Not only thank you for what you are doing today, but thank you for your original service to the country. Um, we appreciate every single one of you. And without people like you, we would not be what we are today. So I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. Okay. This is a proclamation for the Ralph Frank Janicek Veteran of Foreign Wars post 2788 for January 4th, 2020. Whereas the, Frank, the Ralph Frank Janicek Veteran of Foreign Wars post 2788 will celebrate 50 years of service to our community on Saturday, January 4th of 2020. And whereas the post is located in Penrose, Fremont County, Colorado, and serves veterans and other members of our community. And whereas every November post 2788 hosts a sleep out near a restaurant in Canyon City, that raises about $10,000, which they use year-round for veterans in need on a case-by-case -case basis. And whereas Post 2788 Motorcycle Group provides Christmas gifts for needy families through toy runs, and whereas Post 2788 provides Thanksgiving baskets to deserving families, and whereas Post 2788 hosts various parties for the veterans living at the Bruce McCandless Veterans Community Living Center in Florence, Colorado, and whereas Post 2788 provides honor guard teams for veteran funerals. And whereas Post 2788 leads and presents national colors in local parades. And whereas Post 2788 collects and properly destroys used and worn American flags in dignified ceremonies. Now, therefore, let it be proclaimed by the County Commissioners of Fremont County, Colorado, that January 4th of 2020 is hereby designated as Ralph Frank Janicek Veterans of Foreign Wars post 2788 day in Fremont County. The county commissioners do urge all people of Fremont County to recognize the very good work being done by post 2788 and congratulate its members on achieving this significant milestone. Thank you, gentlemen. We thank you and, and I salute you. 
Thank you. And with that, Mr. Chair, I move to approve the proclamation naming January 4th of 2020 as Ralph Frank Janicek VFW Post 2788 Day. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve the proclamation for the Ralph Frank Janicek Veterans Forum Post 2788. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carried. All Gentlemen, right. we have a proclamation. Let's get out there and take a picture with you. Yes. was pretty bright. It was. <laughs> I love doing that except for them flashes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, folks. I will move on to number two, which is... I'm going to get that dot out of the middle. I know. I, that one flash was... OPC 17-001, JMC Enterprises, an optional premises cultivation commercial greenhouse. This is for a 2020 renewal. It says Jeff Kane is the person, but I don't see Jeff, so I assume that you're here. You're here for Jeff. <laughs> you don't look like a Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> just just Hi. state your name, please. Darlene Sue with JMC Enterprises. All right, welcome. Thank you. Okay, um, I guess we'll start off um, first with the staff report, please. Okay, so the, uh, the application and all submittals have been provided. We have not received any complaints or violations for the property, and the department recommends uh, approval for renewal of the license. Okay, the address of this is added on County Road 835C, <coughs> which is south of Florence. It's kind of up here in the middle of nowhere, so yeah, it's a perfect place. We appreciate the fact that there have been no complaints and no violations because um, things have gotten a lot better, I think, in Fremont County, but we still do receive an, an, an official formal complaint every now and then. So I just appreciate that we aren't getting anything from you guys. Thank you. So it sounds like things are going well. It is. Thank you. Is there anything that you would like to say? <coughs> Add to it? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm not good at public speaking. <laughs> Jeff would. Jeff would be up there talking. He should, he should be, I'm sure, showing up any time. <laughs> well, it will be too late for right. him. <laughs> With that, Mr. Chair, I move that uh, we approve the uh, optional premise cultivation, the OPC 17001 for JMC Enterprises. I'll second. 2020 renewal. Yep. It has been moved and seconded to approve the OPC 17-001 JMC Enterprises for a 2020 renewal. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne. Aye. Commissioner Bell. Aye. Commissioner McFall. Aye. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Tell Thank you, you so I missed him. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <clears throat> okay, I'm moving on to item number three. Item number three is a resolution designating a portion of Fremont County Road 69 open to um, off-highway vehicle traffic. We had a request from the Royal Gorge ATV Club. Um, County Road 69 is just west of um, the Hogback out here and kind of goes north. Um, when that road gets up there, you get to Seep Springs. There's a big parking lot on BLM. And um, folks can unload their ATVs in that parking lot and get on a trail there, but if those ATVs are wider than 50 inches, they cannot access the trails from there. A mile further north up the road um, is another BLM access where wider vehicles can get onto those trails and use um, BLM trails for their riding pleasures. <coughs> um, we were asked um, if we would be interested in allowing ATVs on that mile stretch of County Road. Um, there's, it's, it's exactly a mile actually, 6.2 mile marker 
is the Seep Springs parking lot, and 7.2, just before 7.2, is the uh, <coughs> other access to the BLM. So um, we had some discussion about this and decided that it sounded like a great idea. These folks may or may not be doing that already, but we might as well help them make it legal, legal and I think that they help us throughout the county as well. Um, kind of policing some of these areas, keeping them clean. They do um, projects every year where they go out and clean trash, which is amazing for them to go out and do that. So we appreciate the hard work that they've done. And um, I'm gonna find this resolution now. So while, while you're looking, I would just add to that, um, we think it's important that the public who uses that road knows and understands they may be encountering these much, much smaller vehicles on that single mile of road. So we have um, asked our Department of Transportation here in Fremont County to create some signage to put up there just to make drivers aware this is the space and you may be seeing those um, off-road traffic vehicles and uh, you need to be very, very careful with that. And I think along with that, this, these groups, um, again, tend to police themselves and, and mind all traffic laws as well, which they have to abide by as well. So with this resolution tonight, oh, no resolution number, we'll have to get to Number that. 40. Number 40. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, it states that, whereas Fremont County Board of Commissioners has been presented with a citizen request to open a portion of Fremont County Road 69 to off-highway vehicle traffic use, as, de as defined in CRS, Colorado Revised Statute 33-14.5-101, and the Fremont County Commissioners have considered the request at a regular meeting held December 24, 2019, and whereas designation of the road of such highway off, I'm sorry, such off-highway vehicle traffic is authorized by CRS 33-14.5-108, and whereas the Board of County Commissioners has determined that it is appropriate and beneficial for the citizens of Fremont County that this section of Fremont County Road 69, beginning at Seep Springs parking area, located approximately 6.2 miles north of the intersection of County Road 69 and US Highway 50, and ending at um, approximately 7.2 miles north of the intersection of County Road 69 and US 50, be open to the travel by off-highway vehicles, and whereas travel by off-highway vehicles will not impede the safe travel of other vehicles on the designated portion of the roadway, due to the extremely limited vehicle traffic on this portion of the road of County Road 69. And whereas the designation only pertains to this section of Fremont County Road 69 specifically set forth in this resolution, and that no other county road shall be open to off-road vehicle traffic unless specifically designated by resolution of the board. Now therefore be it resolved that the Board of County Commissioners of Fremont County hereby designate the following section of Fremont County Road 69 to be open to off-highway vehicle travel as described on Fremont County Road inventory attached here to the incorporation here in reference. So as I stated before, County Road 69, approximately 6.2 mile marker to 7.2 mile marker. With that, I move to approve resolution number 40, designating a portion of Fremont County Road 69 to off-highway vehicle traffic. I'll second. Has been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 40 designating portion of County Roads Fremont 69 open to off-highway vehicle traffic. Any further discussion? I think you said it all. Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. On to item number four, which is approval of a Federal Aviation Administrative Grant application for the airport runway maintenance project. And we have the airport manager, Wes Brent, here this morning. Good morning, morning Wes. Wes. Good morning. morning, Wes. So the last few months, our Armstrong Consultants, our airport consulting firm, has been working on the design portion of our taxiway rehabilitation project, which includes a portion of the runway that needs repaired. And with that becoming finalized, it's time to look towards the construction phase. So this application would be for the FAA portion of the construction of the rehabilitation of the taxiway Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. Uh, the amount that uh, we believe it's going to cost about $700,000 for the construction part of the project. Um, the FAA would pay for about 90% of that, which would be $630,000. 
and then the state would kick in 35 and thousand, and then we would have the remaining 35,000. I'm sorry, our share is 35,000? Correct. So we have that budgeted for 2020? We do. It is in the budget. Do you have any idea of a timeline for this project, Wes? I believe it'll be about in the summer sometime. We don't have a specific date yet. But okay. Okay. But come this coming year. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a project that's kind of been going for a little bit. We've had design engineer on that, engineering on that already, or it's yeah, in progress. They've been working on it this year. They're starting to finalize the yeah. final part of the design. Okay. I have no further questions. I have a motion. Any questions, Commissioner? No. Okay. All right. I move to approve the application for a Federal Aviation Administration grant in the amount of $630,000 for the airport runway maintenance project. Second. Has been moved and seconded for approval of the FAA grant application for the airport runway maintenance project. Any further discussion? <laughs> Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Wes. Great. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, Wes. Okay. Now we've got a lot of appointments and reappointments to make for um, various boards throughout the county. Um, we'll start with number five, which is um, an appointment <coughs> to the Florence representative for the Fremont County Planning Commission. Um, it seems like every two years, if the mayor changes, their, their appointee also changes. Um, this is a four-year term this, uh, that would end December 31st, 2023, and the city of Florence, the new mayor, I guess, yes. <laughs> has requested that we appoint Larry Baker as the Florence representative. Mr. Chair, I move that we appoint Larry Baker as the Florence representative to the Fremont County Planning Commission with a term ending December 31st, 2023. I will second that, Mr. Chair, with the note that uh, Mr. Baker has served on the Fremont County Planning Commission previously. He was one of the better members that we've had for a very long time. So when Dick Upton was appointed mayor, he came to me and we had a conversation. Um, I talked to him about who he might be looking at to appoint to this particular seat and he didn't really have any ideas so we had a little bit of a discussion um, we also spoke with Mr. Baker obviously to see if he would be willing and interested in coming back on board he's definitely ready to step back into that role so I'm really excited to be doing this today I think it's um, uh, good because we a person like Dick or uh, Larry is they get engaged in this process and it's very important in the planning process that these folks are engaged in what's going on and, and the happenings of the process so it's it's a great, great appointment. So it has been moved and seconded to appoint Larry Baker as a Florence representative to the Fremont County Planning Commission. Any um, roll call, please. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, number six is reappointment <coughs> of uh, two individuals to the Fremont County Weed Advisory Board. It's a three-year term ending December 31st, 2022. That would be for Jay Ademick and Paul Garrett. Mr. Chair, we have received letters from both Mr. Adamic and Mr. Garrett um, indicating their interest in continuing to serve on the Fremont County Weed Advisory Board. So I move to reappoint them both for three-year terms that will end on December 31st, 2022. Second. Has been moved and seconded to reappoint Jay Adamic and Paul Garrett to the Fremont County Weed Advisory Board for three-year term ending December 31st, 2022. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. Then we had an opening on the Weed Advisory Board. We sent out a notice of letters <coughs> of interest, and we did receive one. Um, this will be for a term uh, starting January 1st, 2020, ending December 31st, 2022. That was from Mr. Paul Telk. With that, Mr. Chair, I move to appoint uh, Paul Telk to the Fremont County Weed Advisory Board for a three-year term beginning January 1st, 2020, ending December 31st, 2022. I second that just with the note that Mr. Telk has previously served on this board. He was a very effective member of the Weed Advisory Board for many years, so I think we're really excited to have him back. He's a master gardener, so that's cool. He he's, he's a good guy. So it has been moved and seconded to appoint new member Paul Telk to the Fremont uh, weed Advisory Board for a three-year term <coughs> beginning January 1st, 2020, ending December 31st, 2022. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. 
Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carried. Okay, number eight is reappointment of three individuals to the Fremont County 4-H Sales Committee. It's a three-year term ending December 31st, 2022. Those individuals are Denise Farrell, Farrow, Farrow, Gina Grazini, and Kathy Kunzelman. Mr. Chair, these, these ladies, along with the rest of that board, have done an incredible job over the last few years of kind of revamping the sale um, for the livestock sale for 4-H during the fair. It closes out our fair every year, so I am more than happy to move to reappoint Denise Farrow, Gina Grazenti, and Kathy Kunzelman to the Fremont County 4-H Sales Committee for another three-year term that will end on December 31st of 2022. Second. We did receive letters from all three of these yes. ladies um, stating their <laughs> interests. So it has been moved and seconded to reappoint Denise Farrow, Gina Grazini, and Kathy Kutzelman to the 4-H County Sales Committee for a new three-year term ending December 31st, 2022. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, can yes. we revisit the Planning Commission appointment? Those are three-year terms rather than four-year terms. Oh. So it should be December 31st, 2022. For a three-year term, but I'm not sure if he's completing another term and then getting a full term. So I believe what we had done in the past with the city representatives is do even number instead of odd because of the terms as far the as the mayor, term mayor terms. That was consistent with some of the other appointments we had made in prior years. I'm not sure if that's in the bylaws, but we can check it and revisit it in January if we need to. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, thank you. <coughs> we will check on that. We are on to item number nine, which is a reappointment of some individuals to the Fremont County Fair Board for a three-year term ending December 31st, 2022. We did receive letters from these three individuals or four individuals that would like to continue with the fair board. They are John Daniels, Ralph Kunselman, Tammy Rakovich, and Linda Valdez. With that, Mr. Chair, I move that we reappoint John Daniels, Ralph Kunselman, Tammy Rakovich, and Linda Valdez to the Fremont County Fair Board for three year terms ending December 31st, 2022. Second. It has been moved and seconded to reappoint John Daniels, Ralph Kunselman, Tammy Rakovich, and Linda Valdez to the fair board. County Fair Board for three-year terms to ending December 31st, 2022. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. On to item number 10, which is an appointment of new members to the Fremont County Board of uh, Fair Board for three-year terms beginning January 1st, 2020 and ending December 31st, 2022. We did send out notice of letters of interest for individuals um, interested in being on the fair board. We do have the uh, capability of having up to 21 members on the fair board. We have four um, folks today that show interest in this. They are Christina Del Duca, Robin Dilger, Dilger Tay Jeffords, and Joyce Simpleman. Mr. Chair, I believe that um, each of these individuals are very interested in um, serving on this board. They all have a vested interest, I think, in the Fremont County Fair. So I'm happy to move to appoint new members to the Fremont County Fair Board for three-year terms that will end December 31st of 2022. Those people are Christina Del Ducan, Robin Dilger, Tay Jeffords, and Joyce Simpleman. Second. It has been moved and seconded to appoint new members of the Fremont County Fair Board for three-year terms ending December 31st, 2022. Christina Del Duca, Robin Dilger, Tay Jeffords, and Joyce Simpleman. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. That does bring us up to a 19-member fair board, I believe. Yep. Okay, number 11 is a reappointment to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for a five-year term. They do have five-year terms ending December 31st, 2024, and that is for Kevin Mamaldi. Pretty darn close, <laughs> Mr. Chair. <laughs> Um, I, I know Kevin, he's more than happy to serve on this board, and we do have a letter from the library itself requesting for his reappointment. So I move to reappoint Kevin Mamalji to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for a five-year term that will end on December 31st, 2024. Second, with thanking you for 
No, let me uh, put you that last <laughs> so, Anytime. <laughs> it has been moved and seconded to reappoint Kevin Lamaldi to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for five year term ending December 31st, 2024. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. And number 12 is an appointment of a new member to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for a five-year term ending December 31st, 2024, which also came with a recommendation from the library, and it's for Andrew Carr. And with that, Mr. Chair, I move to appoint uh, Andrew Carr to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for a five-year term ending December 31st, 2024. Second. Has been moved and seconded to appoint Andrew Carr to the John C. Fremont Library District Board of Trustees for a five-year term ending December 31st, 2024. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Aye. Oops. Commissioner Bell? Sorry. Aye. <laughs> Commissioner McFall? Aye. Motion carries. I'm multitasking. I should stop Mr. doing Chairman, that. Mr. Chairman, they are three-year terms. There's no exception for they, the city representatives. Theirs has, um, oh, on the, on the on city. The on the planning commission, yeah. Commission. They're all three-year terms in their bylaws, so. Okay, so we need to Revise, that, Revise to that to 2022 on the appointment of Larry Baker for the Florence representative of the Fremont County Planning Commission. We can just revise that right now. Do a new motion, yes. I, I move to um, revise the appointment of Larry Baker as the Florence representative to the Fremont County Planning Commission with a term that will end on December 31st of 2022. Second. Okay, it has been moved and seconded to um, have the Florence representative Larry Baker appointed to the Fremont Planning Commission with a term ending December 31st, 2022. So we do have a letter for him that we will need to revise before we send it out. Yep, okay. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bell? Aye. Commissioner Payne? Aye. Commissioner McFall? Aye. Commissioner Harris? Okay. With no further business before us, Merry Christmas, everybody. We are adjourned. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks for being here, Tom.